Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Uh, today's special, we have the Yak 9. So uh, this is one of those uh, Altoya specials. Um, I picked up for $30 Australian. So um, yeah, no, the Yak 9 was a multi-purpose fighter used by the Soviets during World War II. As you can see, it's quite a quite a small fighter there. Um, it was introduced late 1942, uh, serving on the Eastern Front until the um, uh, war's end and uh, even continued being used into the 50s so and then was later retired so it was produced from 1942 to 1948 and around 16,769 were built yes it was a pretty capable fighter and more than a match for the opposing German fighters during World War II so what we'll do was uh, enough with the talk we'll keep that to the minimum and we'll just get this bad boy open so as you can see it's starting again we'll get our old trusty blade out and uh, see if we can get this box open oh, that come off nice and easy Actually, probably don't need it anymore just peel off that backing plate as you can tell we're outside as per usual look at some nice natural light it's just a red backing plate which not much use for anything but chuck it on the ground a little bit windy out here today and the crows just saw me press record so they've decided to be pretty vocal as well so let's get this plastic open and see if we can actually get it to reveal itself and there we have it so as you can see that's pretty pretty good paint paint wise it's a green and gray um, so it's got your stand there, so the uh, unit comes out pretty pretty straightforward, nice and easy. Just, it's got the, the little uh, tail wheel, a uh, little aerial, and little covers for the um, landing gear. And as you should know by now, I am wheels down, so I'll see if I can get that stuff out. So it's got, if you want to have the wheels up version there, and we'll just pop this stand out. Um, under the stand, obviously, there is a um, uh, instruction, little instruction leaflet there, as you can see. The old Yak 9, it tells you where to just place the minor accessories, so we won't lose that. So, as you know, the stand is quite, quite straightforward. Bang, it's all done. And um, it's just got some minor details on there. The aircraft itself, it's... Um, it's got a got a pretty pretty good feel to it. And the old sausage fingers, it uh, sits sits nicely in the hand. It's um, I think it's quite reasonable um, weight wise. It's nice and solid. Um, we'll just try and get some detail in there and uh, show you some panel line details. As you can see, the the paint on it is a a wee bit shiny, as you can tell, but still a, a reasonably good satin finish on it. It's got some uh, specialised markings there, if we can zoom in on that for you. Um, no, uh, no figure in the cockpit or anything like that, so no real details or anything like that in the cockpit either. It's just uh, a pretty, as I said, this is $30 Australian to me, delivered to my door. Um, so it's a pretty pretty budget, budget, very budget sort of bill, but you know, it's not too bad nonetheless. I think it's quite, uh, quite a good quality. And um, so what we'll do is we'll see if we can put some landing gear on. What do you reckon? So if uh, <laughs> that one has got a screw what? in place, oh, no. this one in, and uh, for some reason there is a tiny screw on this one, right there where the landing gear has to go in. So that is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But as you can see, the landing gear there is uh, straightforward to put in. Um, so, put, if we can get these sausage fingers to put this uh, prop on without dropping it too much, and the prop prop goes on pretty pretty good. It does spin quite freely, as you can see. Um, I would put the other landing gear on for you to see, but uh, I have to get a screwdriver and take that screw out. I do not know why there is a screw in there. Um, obviously, you know, because I'm doing a video, something unique has to be wrong with a with a model. So. But um, apart from that, it's um, <laughs> it's quite good, despite the blustery conditions at the moment. Um, but I just try to do these outside because I, I want to get natural light. Any, anyone can just turn on a, a light and 
sit in a room and do them and uh, I figure doing it outside it's a bit more natural see see them for what they really are in, in a, a natural environment outside but um, no it's a definitely look to be honest for 30 bucks I reckon it's pretty pretty cool it's not not too bad it's a nice unit um, fairly well detailed um, for the price of it um, I'd, I'd definitely grab one if you can these are those packet packet type ones so the stand is quite, as you know, quite quite easy to put in. It's just that, that hole, and it's yeah, you know, bang done, and uh, present presents well, as you, as you can see there, presents quite well on the stand. Looks pretty cool, but uh, yeah, no, and there you have it. So that's the you know, the Act Nine. Um, oh, it's definitely yeah, pretty pretty good model. Um, I will. You know, as per usual, after this video, I'll take some uh, photos of this. Um, so without my sausage fingers, obviously, in the way, um, I will rectify that screw issue and put the other landing gear on there, and um, and and chuck up some uh, photos following this video. So, if this was helpful in any way, yeah, you know, as usual, give us a like if you can spare the time, and uh, thank you again for sp spending the time checking out our video. Um, cheers. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.